In Singapore, breast cancer is the commonest cancer in females. It is also the leading cause of cancer death in women. It is when cells in the breast grow in an uncontrolled way and form a tumour. Breast is made of fat and granular tissue containing lobes. The lobes are where breast milk is made. They connect to the nipple by a network of ducts. Lymph fluid from the breast flows to the lymph nodes in the armpit, behind the collarbone and beside the breastbone. The armpit nodes are often the first place to spread outside the breast. The risk factors that increase the chances of getting breast cancer include age, especially after 50, previous breast conditions like having dense breast tissue or abnormal milk duct growth, prolonged exposure to female hormones through early starting of menses, late menopause, not having children or not breastfeeding. Lifestyle factors like smoking, drinking, alcohol and being overweight can also contribute to increased risk of breast cancer. These are preventable. Breast cancer sometimes runs in families with the BRCA1 and 2 genes implicated in the majority of breast cancers that are hereditary. Signs and symptoms of breast cancer include a lump in the breast, change in size and shape of the breast, dimpling or thickening of the breast skin, nipple inversion, a rash on the nipple, discharge from a nipple or a lump or swelling in the armpit. Most of these signs and symptoms are not due to breast cancer, but you should see your GP to check them out. Yes, breast screening is a way to find a breast cancer that is too small to see or feel. It involves doing a type of x-ray of the breast called a mammogram. Cancers found through screening are usually easier to treat, and it is recommended that women between 50 to 69 years old have a mammogram every two years. Women suspected of having breast cancer are referred to a breast surgeon. Mammograms and ultrasounds of the breast will be done to get a better picture. A biopsy is then arranged to get some tissue from abnormal lumps or areas. The most common biopsy is a core biopsy. A hollow needle is used to take some tissue. Local anaesthetic is used to numb the area beforehand. Sometimes the surgeon will do a small operation called an excision biopsy to remove the lump under general anesthesia. A doctor known as a pathologist will look at the tissue under a microscope to check for cancer cells and determine its features. Surgery is one of the main treatments for breast cancer. The type of operation depends on the size and position of the tumour as well as patient preference. It is broadly divided into breast conserving surgery or complete removal of the breast known as mastectomy. Complete removal of the lump or lumpectomy followed by radiotherapy is as effective as mastectomy in early breast cancer. Most women are pleased with the appearance of the breast after lumpectomy. Sometimes a mastectomy is recommended and the lump is large in proportion to the breast or if there is cancer in different parts of the breast or radiotherapy has been given to the area before. Patients undergoing a mastectomy are usually offered reconstruction of the new breast shape. It can be done immediately or delayed till after completion of other breast cancer treatments. Silicon implants or tissue taken from another part of the body is used. Radiotherapy is used to reduce the risk of breast cancer coming back in the breast, chest or lymph nodes. It uses high energy x-rays to destroy cancer cells. Cancer cells cannot repair themselves after radiotherapy, but normal cells can. Radiotherapy is necessary after breast conservation surgery and starts about 4 weeks after surgery unless chemotherapy is planned. If so, radiotherapy is given after chemotherapy. Some women with mastectomy will also have radiotherapy. This is based on the risk of the cancer coming back in the chest area, which is higher in large cancers or cancer cells found in the lymph nodes of the armpit. Radiotherapy is given once every weekday over 4, sometimes 6 weeks. It is done in the radiotherapy department and takes 10 to 15 minutes. Radiotherapy does not make one radioactive and one can be near people, including children, after treatment. At the first visit to the radiotherapy department, a planning CT scan is done to map out the breast or chest and surrounding organs. A specialist called the radiation oncologist will plan the best way the x-rays should be delivered. There is no sensation during radiotherapy and all that needs to be done is to lie still for a few minutes. This is a radiotherapy machine called the linear accelerator. The patient essentially just lies here, you just have to keep still. It will move forward and then the machine will fire x-rays from this area. And you can see that the machine can go in all directions. Side effects of radiotherapy include skin irritation, tiredness or breast swelling. These usually disappear after a few weeks. There are possible late effects that can occur months to years after radiotherapy. The most common are changes in how the breast looks and feels. Very rarely, radiotherapy can cause heart or lung problems. New radiotherapy techniques can reduce the risk of these late effects. For left-sided breast cancers, the patient holds her breath during the planning CT scan, and this pushes the breast away from the heart. The radiotherapy plan will usually be able to avoid most, if not all, of the heart. During each treatment session, the X-ray beam will only be turned on whenever the patient holds her breath. A technique to reduce the duration of radiotherapy 
and the amount of breast treated is accelerated partial breast irradiation. It is suitable for selected early breast cancers. Flexible tubes are placed into the breast around the scar region with the help of local anesthesia and sedation. The tube is connected to a machine which pushes radiation sources into them for a few minutes. Only the area around the original tumour is treated. A total of only 10 treatments twice a day for 5 days is required. Chemotherapy uses anti-cancer drugs to destroy cancer cells. It is offered when the cancer is large, high grade, in the lymph nodes, negative for any receptors, positive for HER2 receptors. Sometimes chemotherapy is given before surgery to shrink a large breast cancer. This can help avoid needing a mastectomy. Estrogen and progesterone are female hormones that can encourage hormone receptor positive cancers to grow. Hormonal therapy reduces the amount of estrogen available to breast cancer cells. Premenopausal women are usually treated with tamoxifen. Postmenopausal women are treated with aromatase inhibitors. Targeted therapies are new drugs that work differently from chemotherapy. The main targeted therapy in breast cancer is Herceptin. It attaches to the HER2 receptors of breast cancer cells and stops them from growing. It is given as an intravenous injection once every three weeks for a year. Side effects include mild flu-like symptoms. Most women with HER2 positive cancers will get Herceptin, except those with heart problems.